Why did you want to be in Star Wars? Why? Yeah. I just remember going to that movie opening day in New York City. And you know, everybody's sitting in there, everybody's smoking weed. And then all of a sudden it comes on, and then all of a sudden it's a ship, 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 ship. And then it like goes into hyperspace and we're all like, oh, wow. <laughs> and it's crazy. And then they're in this uh, intergalactic bar and it's all these different kinds of things that you've never seen before. People hanging out and big things, little things, furry things, <laughs> one-eyed things, five-eyed things. It was like, oh, this is, okay. This is the kind of movie I want to be in. Yeah. So over the years, after watching the Ewoks and all this other stuff, you know, the opportunity presented itself. I said, you know, George Lucas, and it happened. You know, wish fulfillment. I got a call from George's company saying, George, here's you want to be in Star Wars. He'd like to meet you. Da da da. So they sent a car. I go to the ranch, um, talk to George, and he's like. What is it you like to do in Star Wars? I said, I don't care, man. You know, I can be a stormtrooper. You can put a white helmet on me. I just want to run across the screen and say I was in Star Wars. And he's like, ah, we'll find something. Don't worry. And then I got a call later that summer going, okay, George is ready for you to come and you know work in Star Wars. I said, I haven't seen the script. I said, don't worry, just come to London. So I get to London. And I go into a dressing room, and um, I thought it was somebody else's dressing room because that was like a Jedi robe and some boots and all this stuff in there. Then the fitter comes in. She's like, okay, those are yours. Try those on. I'm like, oh, I'm a Jedi? Right. And they were like, yeah. So I tried on my, my Jedi costume. I'm like, oh, my God, this is crazy. And I go down, and then this guy comes over. You know, it's time to shoot, and I got my robes on. And he opens a halibut and says, okay, choose your lightsaber handle. And it's like, oh, my God, oh, my God. <laughs> So I was just, I was gone at that point. So was, <laughs> that one was like, hanging on my belt. I'm a Jedi and I'm in. I said, okay, now I got to figure out how not to get killed, so I can be in the next movie. <laughs> and you managed to do that? I did. I managed to make it through three. <laughs> Tell me about the purple lightsaber. So I'm looking at the scene and I'm reading them and I'm like, hmm, I need a way to find myself in this fight. <laughs> So I go to Jordan and say, can I have a purple lightsaber? And he goes, why? I'm the second most powerful Jedi in the universe. I mean, you got Yoda. I'd like a distinct lightsaber. Let me think about it. <laughs> and I came back to do reshoots, and he's like, I don't know if I'm going to let you keep it or not, but he punched it up, and there I was with a purple lightsaber. Like, oh, my God. He's like, don't get attached to it. <laughs> We can still change it. Yeah, exactly, any old time. But he let me keep it, and it stayed in, you know, the lightsaber stayed in the picture. And it's, the rest is history. You know, the only purple lightsaber in the Star Wars universe. You're under arrest, Chancellor.